Hey everyone, this is Derek, and in this video we're going to look at matrix operations. And this one we'll do uh, addition and subtraction, and then we'll do another video with multiplication. Um, and this one we're also going to include a little bit of um, just some definitions of terminology that goes along with matrices. So as we've seen in the last section, a matrix is a way to organize data in rows and columns. In our case, it was equations, but it could also just be um, data. Uh, matrices are going to be named with capital letters. Uh, the size and order of a matrix is given by rows and columns. So we were just working on a lot of three by four matrices because we had three rows, three equations by four columns. I'll do examples with these also. And those are read um, M by N. So rows, columns, M, N. Uh, the numbers in the matrix are called entries or elements. Uh, matrices are the same size if they have the same number of rows and columns. That makes sense. And then the position of an element is given by a lowercase letter and a subscript with two numbers. And so it's the little, um, if we're talking about an element in the matrix, like one of the little numbers, it's, it's denoted with this lowercase letter and then row columns. So like um, which row it's in and then which column. So kind of lining those up and figuring out where the element is. And I'll show all those with a, an example here. Okay, so for this one, um, the quest, first question we're using these three matrices to answer these questions. So A is what order um, is each of, what is the order of each matrix? And so the size or order, again, that's our rows by columns. And so this has three rows by three columns. So this would be a three by three matrix. And this, we're using capital letter to denote the matrix. So this has two rows by four columns. And this one has two rows by three columns. And then B is asking us to find the following elements. So when they use a lowercase b like that, that means it's an element in the matrix B. And again, this goes rows by columns. So we're looking in the second row in the fourth column. And so for this, this would be a negative two. Um, for this next one, we have A, and then we're looking in the uh, second row and the first column, so that should be four. And for C, we're looking in the first row, third column, so that should be that nine. Okay, so addition and subtraction with matrices. If two matrices have the same number of rows and columns, we can add or subtract them uh, by adding their corresponding entries. So they have to be the same size, and then we just add the, you know, these two and these two and these two, and that, that's it. Subtraction, same thing, we just gotta be careful of signs. So A plus B over here, we'd have negative one and seven. So A plus B will equal uh, six. 0 and 1 for 1, 5 and 0 for 5. And then negative 3 and negative 1 for negative 4, 2 and 4 for 6, 3 and negative 5 for negative 2. And then same thing with the subtraction. So we're going to go B minus A. Um, if it helps, you can write it out. You, you certainly don't have to. Um, If you want to be sneaky, uh, um, instead of writing B minus A, you can actually write it as plus and then change all the signs, and it actually makes it a little bit easier. I'll go ahead and write it in this order. Um, but I could do plus and then plus, uh, and then just change all these, and then I'm adding the same as I was over there. Um, you certainly don't have to show this. I'm just kind of showing it to help people keep track of the signs. So this is going to go 7 minus negative 1, and that's where you can get in a little bit of trouble, 7 minus negative 1, just sort of doing things backwards, but it's all good if you keep track in your head. Uh, so that will be an 8, and then 1 minus 0, okay, so that's 1, 0 minus 5, that's negative 5, and then negative 1 minus negative 3 is really negative 1 plus 3, so that would be 2, 4 minus 2 is still 2, uh, negative 5 minus negative 3 makes negative 8. So that's addition and subtraction.